Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today I am pouring a geode shape that's about 8 inches and 4, four inch or so geode uh, silicone molds. I'm using ZD Sticky. Uh, I got this a while back and I did. I covered some tiles with it. I wasn't real pleased with the results because of a little bit of um, cratering. But because I'm doing something like this, I don't think I'll have that issue. So I'm going to give it another try. And it's a part one, A and two parts equal together for about, you mix it five minutes. And you've got 30, 45 minutes of working time. So I should be good to go on that. Today I'm going to um, do black and metallic gold for something different. And I'm going to use these gold leaf flakes again that are will be listed below the video. So I've put some in a cup and I'm going to add resin and kind of try to break it up and crunch it up as best I can. And that's going to be in the center of these four pieces. And I have actually some paints left over from a an acrylic pour. So these are acrylics mixed with um, Floetrol. This is DecoArt 24 karat gold, which I love, love, love. And I have some black paint, which is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. And even though they're mixed for pouring, I'm just going to go ahead and put them into my resin and see what happens. I also have a little bit of black uh, glitter. It's got a lot of iridescence to it, and I'm actually going to sprinkle it. So this is silicone, and it's kind of hard. Ooh, it's beautiful, though. It's, it's holographic. So I don't know. I don't know if I wanted this glitter on here or not. I've got a wet white thing. I'm gonna try to lift that off, and that's not working. Okay. So I guess I'll put some more back down. I don't. I don't want that to cover the um, the gold leaf. I'm going to wear my safety glasses and my respirator and the mixing part and everything else where I heat it so you won't hear me talking, but I showed you what I'm using and um, I may pull off the mask and talk to you at the end of the video, so I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I have finished it up. I wish I had a little bit more resin mixed. Um, I would like to have had a couple more ounces, but I think it'll be good. And um, the gold paint with Floetrol looked kind of like taffy. Uh, it was kind of weird looking. Now with the other resin poured into it, it kind of looks okay, but I'm, I'm kind of Leer, you know, leery of how it's going to turn out, but um, 
and I put way too much gold leaf in my resin so I was just trying to use as much of that gold leaf as possible because once you put it in the resin you can't get it out <laughs> so these are finished I'm hoping the other side will be just gorgeous usually it's the the bottom side that comes out that's really the most surprising so I'm going to cover this up and wait 24 hours I'll show you the results in a little bit okay so it's time for the unmolding I can tell the resin is a little bit flexible so it's not totally cured but it's been it's been over 12 hours so we're gonna take it out anyway kind of pretty on the top side so let's see what it looks like on the bottom side Ooh. so there's that black holographic looking glitter so it kind of hid the gold just a little bit there and it has a little bit I guess because I used black paint in the resin, it's not quite as shiny as the top where I added the clear coat in. So, but it's still very lovely. That's super cool. Let's check out these coasters. I have to say I really like the top side which I typically always prefer the bottom on most of the resin stuff I've done. This one has some little flaky edges. They're elegant looking though. I like the, I really like the black and gold thing. So next time I won't put the glitter on, but I do love that glitter. It was called black glitter too. That's the funny part. All right, so there they are.